Hello. How are you? Voila. So, hi, neighbor. Today, I'm going to do a book review. No, actually, a K-drama review. So, the name of this drama is Perfect Marriage Revenge. And I think it's based off the same webtoon as Marry My Husband, the one that Pat Min Young is currently starring in. And it's an ongoing series. So, how I found this drama was just purely by chance. And I was looking at it like... I had really low expectations of it, honestly. Because are usually people I see as supported characters or like they're not like, you know, those media main mainstream. I mean, but when that thought ran through my mind, I was like, but if I'm seeing this drama right now, it means it's mainstream. So thank God these actors are mainstream because they're really good. I, I love them in Perfect Marriage Revenge. So this so the entire story is it's revolving majorly around Soul. Let's call her Soul. So Soul is like the eldest daughter in her family. Her parents only have two daughters, her and the younger sister. But for some reason they don't treat her right. Right? Soul is married. She's married to this guy, but even he doesn't love her. Who he's actually in love with is her younger sister. And the thing is he doesn't even hide it well. He doesn't bother. He's always all over, like, oh, how, how can I help this younger girl? How can I help her? And she's always, and the so-called girl, the so-called younger star is always going after you, like, oh, pa, okay, did you take this video? Okay, did you post this? You know, like, no regard for the girl at all, all right? And I don't get the dynamics of why her mom hates her so much, although they, they slipped in that first episode that she's adopted. I'm like, but even if she's adopted, like, the extent of leaving her out, her family leaves her out, is too much. And even the family she's married into, it's not like they care about her. Or they, they, her mother-in-law and her sister-in-law wants her for, is to buy things for them for money. Do you understand? So her life is miserable. Nothing she's doing is counting. She's not happy. And she keeps letting herself be treated badly because she thinks, oh, I have no other one else to fall on. Until this her so-called family frames her for painting fake pictures. Um, paintings because she's a painter and they pl blame it all on her so she's now driving away upset and she gets into an accident and she winds up on the hospital bed so there she gets to get things in that state because she's almost like dying so her, her mother in quotes now comes and says to her that see i've always known based on looking at you that you're the kind of person that will end up like this that in your next life don't be so kind she learns a lot of things on that dead bed that makes her like so angry that why did I live my life this way? That if I get another chance at life, I would live it so differently. She dies. And then she wakes up. Let's say this is happening in July 2023. So she wakes up in July 2022. And she's like, oh, I get another chance to redo all of this. And this is right when she was about to marry her so-called husband. So she calls off the wedding. And he said, the person she goes to propose a marriage to is a person that her younger sister is obsessed with. Like the, the man her younger sister has been going on about, oh, this guy, this guy, this guy. So that's the person she goes to approach. And somehow the guy agrees and they get married. And that sets off the whole plot of this. But honestly, this story had a whole lot more. And it's cheesy in its own way. But I like the fact that there was just so much emotion in it. All that angst, all that tension, the plot twist, the whole pushing the guy away because she feels like even if I want to give him a chance, I can't love again. And even if I do want to give him a chance, I'm still going to die in a year and it's not necessary. So there's a whole lot of all that angst going on. I mean, his own family trouble, the way his family accepts her. So I really, really like loved the story. Based on how I felt before I started watching it and the vibes it gave me when I completed it, I'm giving this drama like a 10 over 10. Yeah. I mean, reviews is just based on how the person who perceives it wants it. Yeah. I actually want to tell the story. Currently, Stephanie Sue is doing Marry My Husband. So I think I want to do this one. This is um, Perfect Marriage Revenge because it's like really good. I mean, I binge, I used an entire day to binge it and I was like, oh my God, it's so worth it. Oh God. I don't want to share this story. So if there's something you really want to say, let me know. And I want to do more reviews like this based on books I've read. This review is like so far from perfect. But if you like it, I think I want to do more reviews, but on the books and the movie so maybe you vote and say okay yeah, i want to hear the full version so that it'll be easier for me to get into it knowing that it's what you want instead of like oh what i'm guessing on so thanks for hanging out with me today and i'll see you then